And how you guys doing? Welcome to episode 834. We have something special going to happen today. Right after this first segment, you're going to be taken over to our Motorcycle Madhouse channel on YouTube. That way, you can see the whole entire show. Don't forget to go over there and subscribe once you get launched over there. The Motorcycle Madhouse YouTube channel. Then you're going to see old China Dow come in here. Good stuff, man. We're really retooling everything that we're doing here at Insane Throttle. Coming up with a lot better type of platform and a lot more entertainment because that's what this is, is entertainment. Now, I noticed something that is happening with all the creators on YouTube, and you might have seen it. I don't have mine on right now. But it's Ride More, Politic Less. And that started with Sos the Ghost over at Demon's Row. And a lot of creators are really into what he's trying to push right there. A lot of us are wearing the hats. Hopefully you're going over by DemonsRow.com to get your hat. Or I think he has t-shirts over there too. I, I haven't been over there in a while. But pick up your hat and go out there and show it proudly. And with that, I wanted to focus today not on news, even though there's a ton of it. But I wanted to focus on that aspect of what's happening with all the creators pushing this idea. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? I wanted to cover two creators in this video for different reasons. But both of them have a really good goal that they're trying to accomplish. You might have seen him on Wild On 2. Carlos! The proud Cuban. Yes. My crime partner. You might have seen him over there. And his name's Mooch. He does Mondays with Mooch. Watching the programming, now we don't agree on everything. You know, creators are not going to agree on everything and anything. There's going to be disagreements. But it's how you handle them disagreements that really show you the commitment that that creator has to what they're doing. Me and Souls had it. Put our, all that to the side. Now we're angling on what can do what can we do better and hopefully help the scene now mooch he is new to the biker junior if you will he's a former club member i'm not going to give you his club information or whatever you guys can go to his stuff hear it from him but he really has a level head where actually, it's language that I could understand. Yes, I can actually understand it. A lot of people I can't, because things have changed so much over the years. But I wanted to feature him, and I'm hoping that you guys go over and subscribe. Now... A lot of stuff is talked about as far as MC Protocol, Motorcycle Club, Biker News. Yes, he talks about some of that stuff, but he also does other things as well. He talks about MMA stuff. He you know shows where he's going on runs and stuff. What this is supposed to be all about. You know, biking, brotherhood, whatever you want to put it. Here's his channel here. It's called The Mooch. And there's a picture of Mooch right there. Uh, as you can see, he's on uh, Carlos's uh, program a lot. And they do talk about club stuff. But if you really take a look, you know, he has a lot of other stuff. Like he's out and about with the memorial run and stuff like that he has up here. Uh, the Oregon Trail. That was his first one. Now, I know he doesn't have a lot of videos on here, but he does have a lot to say, and a lot of the stuff that he has 
to say is real good. So I hope that you go over there, visit him. There are a lot of new creators coming into this. Rick, five years ago, it was only me, Black Dragon, and Dibs. Uh, you know, we're the old timers in this stuff. But now you're able to get all kinds of opinions, viewpoints, drama if you want, <laughs> which most of us don't like. See, within this stuff, you got your moto vloggers, uh, you got your, you know, motorcycle mechanic stuff, then you got biker news, the MC protocol. There's just so much that is covering the entire scene that you got to mention those that really care about it. And I'd go and check out Mooch right there. Uh, another one I'm going to talk about, and I actually did a story on this. And it was a while ago. And in that video, you know, because I got to put a retraction out there and actually an apology because I really was a dick. You know, maybe it's because I, you know, was in that type of stuff and it was like, damn, why did it end up there or on eBay? Because we know that happens. You get some douchebag member that wants to put stuff on eBay. This wasn't the case. And who I'm talking about is Outlaw Archive. Now, I sat back and was thinking, there is really nobody out there that has any dedication, you know, as far as telling the story of One Percenter Clubs. MCs. There really isn't. Harley Davidson refuses to put a lot of the clubs in there. Yeah, they'll have AMA clubs, they'll have race uh, teams, but they won't have those that they took the image from actually to make their money. We're talking Hells Angels, Outlaws, uh, Banditos, every of them. You won't see that there. But here's a guy that, and I'm going to take you to his Instagram, I do believe he has a YouTube channel. And what I'm hoping, if you're really into the history stuff, hopefully he'll do something on his YouTube channel where he picks one of his pieces and just gives you the background behind it. Gives you the history of it. Because a lot of people, they do not know the history Hell, even guys and MCs don't know their own history, and that's sad. But if you can, you know, what he does is he's a collector. And according to his Instagram, he has over 45,000 items related to the outlaw, to outlaws from the 1950s and the 70s. And it's it, it's, it's just mind-blowing. You know, let's take this picture, for instance, right here. Now, this is an old school angel patch. Now, from the early 70s, he says, front tabs and red black wing patches from the late 60s and 70s, pins from the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. That's history right there. History a lot of people don't get. And that's why I'm hoping, again, that he starts his YouTube channel up and focuses on one piece at a time to give a real in-depth look at the history, as well as, hey, how did you come in possession of this? You know, you're here preserving stuff nobody else can, or ain't, let's put it that way. This right here is something that needs to be done, dedicated to clubs. Now, he has a lot of stuff. He goes into the, the pictures and stuff like that. Uh, there's Terry the Tramp. Uh, then you got uh, Baby Huey right there. Uh, or they call him Fat George. But look at just the history he has on his page. Again, this is Instagram. Look at this one right here. 
the 13th Reich, Laco. Now, here's how he came into this one. I've come to find that when someone passes away, it's very rare for their family members to follow through on their wishes. Especially when these wishes don't include putting money in the pockets of said family members. Fortunately for Dale Stabe, his widow is a truce champion. Over one year before his untimely passing, Dale emailed me twice communicating his intent to leave his 13th Reich MC Colors with me once his soul left his body. Within weeks of Dale's passing, his daughter sued his widow, Karen, to get his colors back. She knew what Dale wanted, so she took his email exchanges with me to Outlaw Archives to court, and victory was uh, declared. Uh, the colors arrived, and he, as he says, why he misses Dale did not want him to pass in order for us to take possession of his colors. He's honored to help carry on his memory. And here's the history. In 1966, the 13th Reich became the LACO chapter of the Hells Angels, Los Angeles County. One notorious member of both clubs was Fat Pat, and notorious member of the Loca uh, MC was Whitey, who patched over from the Coffin Cheaters. That's just amazing right there. It is. And then, of course, you'll have the haters and stuff like that saying, what should have happened? Well, it wasn't them that earned the colors. So what's happening now is what? His colors are preserved. A lot of people didn't even know that the 13th Reich even existed, but now they do because it's there. You could say kind of like in a museum. Now. <laughs> you know, Ruthie, everybody knows this one. Uh, wow. There was a different, you're talking about protocols back then. It was a lot different back then. Uh, actually, in the late 50s, early 60s, women would actually wear the patch on their back so it can be seen when they're on the back of a motorcycle. You know, the Hells Angels went through various uh, different designs. Outlaws, bad, everybody has, but to have these type of memories to be able to show the younger generation, there's the galloping goose right there, man. And that's what it, he says it's uh, Hell Gold scene from the Road uh, Regents MC with uh, Johnny Orvis, Road Regents Panhead, and Bill the Fish from the Goose with Sonny Barden's uh, Galloping Goose Panhead. Look at that, man. Y you can't even. You won't even find something like that in a Harley Davidson museum. And it kind of upsets you because it's like, well, wait a second here. You built your business on our image, but you don't want to give back. You know, let's see here. You got, uh, let's see here. Pasadona Boys. Uh, I think that's what it is. Pacif uh, that, what is it? Yeah, Pas uh, Paisano Boys. Okay, my fault. Uh, this was talking about a reunion and stuff like that. But this is the life right here. So go over, check it out over here. And you know what? Encourage them. Go on there, make comments. Hey, can you do this on YouTube? Can you put one item out and give us the history of it? I think, uh, you know, Outlaw Archive, a lot of people would want to see something like that. I know I would, man. What do you guys think? Let me know. Go over there and subscribe to those two creators right there. Uh, just a lot going on within this genre right now with uh, content creators and stuff. So let's keep it up, uh, passing the word and stuff. Uh, the ride more, politic less type of deal. And go learn from the other people. So right now we're going to go into the second half of the show with China Dow. We're going to try this out, see if it works, where you're automatically going to be taken over to the live show on our other channel. If you have to hit play, you have to turn all notification on is what we're told. So 
if you got all notifications on or that bell, whatever the hell it is, it will just start up. If not, you got to press play. So let's go over there and check out China now.